Go on, mate. Say something funny. My name's Mark Rooney. I'm 59, and I work in international business development as a headhunter. <laughs> what are you like? Does he want my in for a penny job? Hello. Hi, good to see you. How are you? Fine, thanks. Tell me things about you that's going to make me go, are you being serious or just winding me up? Right, I did my first comedy gig. <coughs> oh, jeez. Oh, sorry, it's quick. I only started doing a comedy gig uh, in about November. Wow, OK. My wife, she put me in for one of those competitions, so one. What, what's your wife called? She's called Christy. She's quite aggressive. Uh, quite unaggressive. She's oh, quite right. unaggressive. <laughs> right. That was a bit of a faux <laughs> pas. Um, <laughs> but, yeah, she calls the shots. And our wedding day, I only got invited to the evening do. She is, she's lovely, she's very pleased. Stop laughing, you! <laughs> we are going to get our editor to do an artist impression of your wife. Let's just say she's committed a crime. You're coming to the police station, I'll be the policeman, and then you tell me what your wife looks like. She's Go a, for it. She's about five foot five. Five foot five, okay. She, she has uh, green eyes. Green eyes, very nice. She is, her hair is, is brunette. Brunette. Uh, she's got thick hair. Thick. Down to, down to here. Thick, mmm. Um, she, uh, she has a nice smile, and uh, she always has been stunningly good looking. Does she look like this? I don't think she'll be happy with that. She's very slim. He's done another one. What about this? That's, Sli that's slightly better. Is it? Yeah. Wow. Now, tell me, um, how did you get to the auditions today? Um, I, I came from Oldham, got stuck in traffic, and then ended, ended up having an altercation oh. with someone. And this yeah. guy starts swearing at me. What did he say? Well, um, you're a moron, you're a... P Etc. Etc. Which you know, usually you've got to be a pretty close friend to do that. I think we should recreate the moment. So imagine you're in your. Are you driving? Yes. Yeah, I'm driving. Right, yeah. and he's beside you. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So let's face that way. No, he's he's the other way. Okay. Yeah, I was really thinking about the viewer, but don't right. worry. <laughs> he's opposite me. So I'm going edging forward. It's thick traffic. Right, and he's closer now. And, and, yeah, he's there, and then we get stuck. So he. You... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So, I wind down the window and I say to him, would you talk to people like that that you met on the street? Yeah. <laughs> exactly. So, so, so I then said, you've really got anger issues here because obviously, you know, you do this. And oh! <laughs> that about summed it up. And that ended up. Yeah. Although yeah. if I do well on here, he might see me. Then you can come on here and go, add that. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Please tell us your name. My name's Mark Rooney. And how old are you, Mark? I'm 59. You are the same age as Simon Cowell. <laughs> I, I am. Simon 59? <laughs> you can't be far off. Uh, one of us has worn better than the other. One of us has had some work done. Um... <laughs> That's very kind of you to say so, thank you. <laughs> So you're 59 years old, your, your life is very much over. Um, <laughs> what's that? <laughs> I'm, I'm joking, of course. Um, do you have any pets? Yes. Well, until last Friday, I did. What happened? Uh, the cat died. My wife's here and I said to her, you know, uh, I said, uh, do you want me to get an identical cat? And she, she simply said, uh, no, what would I do with two dead black and white cats? So. <laughs> You had me for a moment. <laughs> OK, good luck, Mark. We're all rooting for you. Thank you. I'm here today with my wife of, of 33 years, Christine. Uh, she's very special to me. She, uh, she has something so special that money could never buy, uh, mainly low standards. <laughs> I've got uh, two grown-up girls. Uh, highly judgmental and extremely disapproving. Unusual names for girls, but we thought we'd try and trip up the, the vicar at the christening. <laughs> Who knows? Uh, now, I'm being unfair, they do tend to treat me very much as a god, in the sense that they ignore my existence for months at a time, <laughs> except when they really need something. But, well, <laughs> but, there, but there you go. God! Flipping it, Simon. 
as a, as a family, we, we do tend to watch a, a lot of TV together. We, a few weeks ago, watched a, a programme on the history of tomatoes. You should watch it. It's available on ketchup. Oh, dear. The, the final thing I'd say is that most of my family come from all over Britain, uh, including Portsmouth, which, of course, is the yes. home birthplace yes. of the beautiful Amanda Holden. You know, Portsmouth is famous for two things, really. Top quality soccer players and beautiful, beautiful women. I don't know which position she plays, and That joke brought me in, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. You've been a great audience. Thank you. Mark, it's, it's the hardest thing to do on this show, stand-up comedy. I think it was like a really funny Father of the Bride speech. Simon, you buzzed well, quite early on. Yeah, because, Mark, I know this is difficult, but there were more groans than laughs, so that's why I buzzed you. I'm really sorry. And, Mark, I thought there were some really nice gems in there, and I also thought your banter at the beginning was very good and very quick, but I think, overall, it's not funny enough to go no, any comments. further at the moment. I found the act and your voice to be quite... dull. Oh, 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 oh. It was almost like there was a news channel on in the background and it's, you're not really listening. It was that kind of thing. I'm so sorry. No, no, no problem at all. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? I'm so sorry to insult you, but there you go. <laughs> Mark, as much as I like you, I don't think you're, you're, you're ready for this yet. So, right now, today, I'm sorry, but it's a no. Understand? It's a no from me. It's a no from me. I would have said yes. <laughs> Thank you very much. David did say uh, that uh, you could do a funny uh, Father of the Bride speech, mm? uh, which is a, a positive. It is, except both my daughters are married. Ah. I've done both them. Well, I've got a bit of good news. Go on. Kevin and Rory here, and Sam and Matt, they are getting hitched. Oh, congratulations. Yeah. Now, I hear, I'm not spreading rumours, but I hear that Rory is the bride. Right. And um, would you mind doing a little Father of the Bride speech now? Just imagine that Cameron Rory was your daughter. Yeah. Come on. Well, anyway, was that? well, you can just simply... We'll add some music. Hang okay. on. Great. Right, so... Uh, Take this seriously, please, Mark. With, no, with, with, with the music, it, it's and delighted that uh, you know, the meet, joining of two families here. And, and what I would say is, is something that I got with, with, with my wife. You, you know, the, the, the successful marriage is based on having two romantic evenings every week. Um, with, with my wife, we've been married for 33 years. She does Wednesdays, I do, I do Fridays. And I think the basis of any marriage, you know, it's, it's based on sincerity. Be sincere in, in what you say. This is fantastic, Mark. In what you Keep do. Going, mate. Promises. She, she's lot. got a tear in her eye. Right. Perfect. Just, just be sincere. I think once you've learned to fake that, you'll probably do very well. There you go. And at that point, obviously, the congregation would give a round of applause. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you very much. Boys, very good. any words uh, to Mark? Thank you very much for doing that.